Okay guys, that's it. Bye bye Tez. Giving my key to Ariel here at Amato's. Take good care of her, please. <laughs>
entire screen. Now I later learned that this was a software update they could have fixed, but at the time they just wanted to get it changed out. At the same time, they also noticed a clicking sound on the front bin, which covers where the cell phones go. And that I kind of thought it sounded like it was supposed to be that way, but it turns out it wasn't. So they replaced um, the entire center console because it just, at the time, again, the repairs and everything was so new that it was just easier to fix it and get me on my way and take care of that issue. That was trip one. Trip two was more concerning when I was on my way to LA and I got a phone call from Tesla service saying, hey, where are you right now? Uh, can you come in? In fact, can you just pull over and we'll come send a tow truck? This had to do with the steering rack and it apparently was a safety issue as precautionary. I had not noticed anything with it and it was something that they actually ended up giving me a Model 3 loaner for because I had a meetup the following day with many of you guys that attended and I basically told them I'm not going to give you the car unless you get me a Model 3 loaner and they did. I think I was the first one to ever get one. So, you know, cheers to them for going the extra mile there being um, proactive and really kind of uh, helping me with a need I had which was pretty unique now the third trip was when I went to Palm Springs to meet up with my friend Joe Scott and the front roof glass actually cracked weirdly enough it cracked in the shape of a Tesla logo I'll, I'll, I'll try to find the clip for you and I did a whole video on it so you have to see it to believe it uh, this apparently had to do with something with how it was installed or one of the parts is from some of the earlier models again two days later had my car in in and out in 24 hours um, got to drive I think a Model X P100D at that time they could have kept it a little bit longer um, and at the same time they replaced the front window motors left hand and right hand side so that was trip three trip four was a bigger one where what they replaced was the driver's side seat trim that had popped out and I couldn't just pop it back in something in the clip I think broke they also updated the battery management system bootloader this was preventing me from getting software updates and I know a lot of people out there right now are probably still dealing with with that they also replaced the mobile charging connector because the one I had previously had something wrong with it I'm not quite sure um, they also at the same time replaced the front left hand and right hand stabilizer bar links due to ball joint cracking again something that they wouldn't have known early on but later learned about and so it was again proactive and they also installed these HV battery breathers I'm not quite sure what those are for but hey thanks for replacing that then we have trip 5 which is the one that I actually caused where I was pulling out of a parking space and I hit a curb. Um, I did record something immediately after, so I'm gonna play that for you. Here's me right after I basically uh, planed on top of a curb with my car. Just as she got fixed. Pretty bad, right? So that's where I'm at now. I'm waiting. Hopefully the car will be done in a week or two at most. As I mentioned, I do have a rental from Frankia in San Diego, which is nice, but I really want to get back in my own car because it's just something about the lowering and the high performance wheels. I just really love driving it. So hopefully that gives you a sense of some of the issues that I've been through, and I hope you don't have to deal with any of these. I know there are lots of different stories out there, but in general, everyone I know that's been getting a Tesla recently has said that they haven't had any any problems at all so it looks like as these things have come up they've been proactive and fixing them for folks like myself the early adopters and then everyone else is you know these things are fixed for so hopefully that's good news for all you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget when you free the data your mind will follow i'll see you back here next time